Hi there, CrazyMan32 here. Really quick, I just want to scan through my new Plane Kit V2 and describe how it works. This isn't a tutorial on how to use it, rather just how it functions, how I made it, etc. So at first glance you notice that it's really just basic design. My main purpose is just to make it look like a plane. The actual design is up to the users, you guys, to figure out and build. The nice thing about this plane kit which uh, the other one also has included, is that it automatically welds the plane together. That means all the parts that you build can be anchored and C-framed however you want. And the weld system here will just take care of that and weld it and then unanchor it so it can move around. This script here also controls the regeneration of the, script, of the plane automatically, so you don't have to deal with anything. Inside the plane itself, we have a lot of just garbage stuff here. I shouldn't say it's garbage, but it looks like ma mass chaos. Just really run through it really quick. You have this crash script right here. Basically what this does is handle uh, collision detection and stuff and uh, figure out how much damage needs to be put on the plane, if any. Uh, because under customize, there's something that you can change. Anyway, under uh, crash, you have health. This is just the health of the plane, obviously, and then a bunch of customizing settings right here that you can play around with. Under health, you have this weird thing called not ready. What this is, is basically an indicator for the plane itself to know if it's ready to be used or not. Don't delete this. Let it be. It'll be deleted automatically by this Walden region script later. It's necessary for the plane to function correctly, so just let it be, let it do what it needs to do. Under that we have design. This right here is just the design of the plane. This does not have to be named design. You can name this whatever you want to be. I just decided to name it design because this is just the build of the plane itself and all the extra parts. Under design we have something called operational. This name does need to be kept the same. These, these are like the main function parts of the plane that have to be here. These have to be here. They cannot be deleted. Do not delete them. The only customizable thing here is really landing gear. All they have to make sure is that you have landing gear model here and you can throw any of your parts under here. So under operational, you have the main seat, get idle time, landing gear, and main. The main seat is basically the pilot seat. And then there's a bunch of stuff under that that I'll go through later. But this is where the pilot seat sits to fly the plane. Under that, you have get idle time. What this does, and there's a little note under here that tells you, it returns the last time it idled, a uh, billion, whether it's idled currently or not, and also another true or false value, never idled, which means a pilot has never used it yet. Under that you have landing gear, again, just you have landing gear of the plane, pretty self-explainable. Under landing gear you have main. This is like the engine of the plane in traditional Roblox planes. So this uh, will have stuff added to it from the script that will propel the plane forward, which is a body velocity object and a body gyro object. So let's go back under main seat again. So first of all, you have the handling script. This, as the title says, handles stuff. <laughs> Basically, it, uh, it figures out when, a, when someone sits in the seat, when someone gets out of the seat, it also handles uh, the plane idling and whether or not to remove it after a certain amount of time. And a bunch of other background stuff that's really not important. Well, it's, it's important for the plane, but not to know about. Under handling, you have the plane script. This is like the main thing in the plane, obviously. So this controls the flight of the plane, the operations of the plane. Under plane, you just have a bunch of other stuff. Force remove and the thing under it, this is just used uh, to indicate when the script needs to be removed. That way the script can run through basically a shutdown process before it's actually removed. Uh, under that, you have a plane object value, which is also just handled by the script itself. And then you have the plane GUI, the plane GUI, however you want to say that, the interface. This is what the pilot sees while he's flying. 
I highly suggest not editing this stuff. It's really built in solid into the coding of the plane, and uh, editing it might crash the whole thing. So just don't play around with that. You can add things to it, just don't delete things to it from it. And then last but not least, we have customize. This is just a bunch of things that you can customize yourself to make the plane work how you want it to work. There's also a readme script. This is really important to read. It's a lot to read, but it tells you what each thing means and how it affects the plane. So if you really want to have an understanding of how to edit the plane, you must read this. Otherwise, you're going to be clueless. And I'm sorry. So yeah, there's the plane for you. It took me about three or so days to make. That's around a thousand lines of code. Which, for a lot of people, a thousand lines of code sounds really impressive. But uh, if you get into like real software development, a thousand lines of code is really a small amount of code. So yeah, that's just an overlook of the plane kit V2. Uh, hopefully it works right for you guys. I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope I could, it makes an impact on Roblox.